Welcome to Trondheim, the former Viking capital of Norway and where we'll be for the next couple of hours. Yeah, we're going to spend a couple of hours here before we venture off towards Sweden, but first things first, we need coffee. Yeah, needing that coffee. We haven't had breakfast yet and we arrived late last night, didn't really have time to go out, so we got some rest and we're here to have a couple of hours exploring the city. We're at Jakobsen and Svart, which apparently has an original Norwegian roast, which sounds perfect this morning. Is here okay, Sean? Yeah, looks good. Huh? I'm fine, thank you. How are you today? Yeah, great, thank you very much. Yeah, um, can I get one of those, please? One the of those? four of us? Yes, please, yeah. that would be great. Thank you. Which one would you like? Uh, which we recommended. Was there a Norwegian roast? Or so, or so? Everything is roasted here. Oh, super. In our, uh, own, uh, of, of our own roaster imported. And, yeah. So he decides like what he likes and he's very into ethics. So oh, okay. Everybody gets their pay. And super, that's nice. But me. what uh, kind of tastes do you like? Um, I like quite uh, strong coffee. Yeah, you like yeah. strong coffee. But do you like it to taste like more flowery? Or more berries, or more um, chocolate. Uh, I'll go for something more berry. Yeah. Berry like, yeah. So. Do you like it to be a little funky? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. That'd be good. Because we have a fermented new one from Ethiopia, and that's amazing. That sounds great. Yeah. yeah. I'll give that one a go. Yeah. You want to sit here? Yes, please. Yeah. Okay. And also for my wife, do you have oat milk at all? Yes, I have yep. oat milk. Do we have a flat white with oat milk? Yes, well. of course. Flat white with oat milk and then a pour over from Ethiopia. That sounds fantastic. Thank you. So our coffee has arrived. I think this is a little bit different than I've ever tasted before. Apparently it's a fermented bean from Ethiopia. Everything's ethically sourced here and all roasted on site in Norway as well. So she suggested to pour just a little bit in here just to cool it down a bit because that's pretty hot. Wow. It does smell it good. It does smell like... She said it was berry. Yeah, berry. Berries. Like it does actually smell of berries. And I got a oat milk um, flat white with the same coffee bean. Is it good? Yeah, it's really good, yeah. <coughs> Tastes very different than what you usually have. Mm. Cheers, then. Cheers, then. Well, that was a great way to start today, wasn't it? That might be a contender for the best coffee shop in Europe up there with Ljubljana. That was fantastic. Really different as well to yeah. everything else. It was experience. also nice to have the coffee like explained to you. It was, it yeah, was a exactly. nice yeah. experience. Very passionate it? about what they do there. They roast their own beans and everything. Now, now let's go and explore Trondheim. Yeah, we've got about an hour and a half. Um, it's quite a small town, but mm -hmm. uh, we we'll, should be able to see some of the great sites they've got here. When we rode in here last night, it looks like a really traditional Norwegian town with some wonderfully preserved old buildings. So let's go and see Trondheim. We've walked up the main street here in Trondheim and yep, yeah, it's pretty nice, wasn't it? it lots is. of standard shops, but with a Norwegian feel on it. Lots of uh, Norwegian colors and no patterns, which um, really approves of. <laughs> I think she's Norwegian at heart. I think I am, yeah. <laughs> We've just walked towards the end and it's at Our Lady's Our Church, Lady's is it? Church. Which is one of the oldest buildings here in um, this town. Yeah, part of it was built in the 12th century and then other parts were added in the 17th and 18th century, but it's actually one of the oldest buildings here in Trondheim. Where are we off to next, Em? Um, <laughs> I think we'll head into the square and then maybe walk to the downtown area, the bit that we saw last night when we come in on the motorcycle. Ah, yeah, I think they actually had an old town there, didn't they? With all the, the wooden fronted shops and buildings. That would be nice. A little walk around there and then we'll uh, head back to the hotel. It's actually a lot bigger than I thought this town when we rode in. It didn't look so big, but there's, there's quite a good good bit of open areas in it too. There's lots to see and, and um, this region that we're in, where Trondheim is, there's not so much around it so it's a bustling little place even though there's it's a lot of nature around it so it really is the hub of the area so there's loads of cool shops around. Yeah I mean just uh, straight ahead of us there you can see the really thick forest and yeah it's surrounded by water, trees and nature. What a lovely little town this is. So this is Nidadros Cathedral, which is the oldest one they have in Trondheim. It's very medieval, isn't it? It is, yeah. Quite gothic as well. This is probably one of the biggest, oldest buildings they've got in the city, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think so. 
I think I read before that it's 13th century as well. So the other one was 12th century, so it's a little bit older. Oh, okay. But this one I think was completed in the 13th. So they built the small one and then they expanded to the gigantic <laughs> one. Maybe they had some bricks left over and built the tower on the other one afterwards. <laughs> wow. That is so impressive. It's almost like the Notre Dame, but with even more figures. Look at that. Wow, well, I was not expecting that. No. To be I was not expecting that much detail. That's really cool. It is, isn't it? I wonder what's inside like, if the outside's like that. There's a tiny little door here. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can go in there, but we'd look. I think you have to have tickets because I read um, ah, that yeah. there's jewel, like um, a crown jewel expedition as well inside, but it's only 10 euros to go inside. So if you want to do that, that's cool. And there's also a gift shop outside as well. This is the Archbishop's Palace and listen to this. This is where the Archbishop lived in medieval times. This palace is one of the best preserved of its kind in Europe. The country's oldest hall building dating from the 1160s is to be found in the North Range in the Great Hall. The Archbishop would receive his guests. Today it has two museums in it. The Military Museum is one of them and we're just entering into the courtyard now. Uh, this is really cool. Waiting for you if you had to leave I would wait a lifetime if you were at sea I just wanna say that I feel That our love is real Maybe we should hurry up and seal the deal towards the dock or in the direction of the hotel and we've come across what I think is one of my favourite little streets. Your favourite street, Em? It might be. The one on the front is pretty special too, but these houses are just so Nordic, aren't they? The different colours, that fishing town vibe that they have to them. Yeah, they, I think they have like a colour palette that they can choose from. 
Boy, I love this street. And it's really empty, this street, as well. It's, it's such a lovely place, Toronto. Oh, it is. Um, yeah, it's really, really it's impressed quiet. us, hasn't it? It's sweet. It's, it's not overrun with tourists. You will be able to walk around. And it seems like it's just full of locals, because apparently it's a student town, the, um, the uh, university. Yeah. It's a scientific yeah. research university, I think, as well. So, oh no, it's got a great, it's got a great feel about it. There's lots of families and kids playing in the parks. But we tend to like university cities because they yep. seem to have like a youth about them. They do, yeah. Lots of like uh, new places. shops, new restaurants, and things, and new ideas coming in. Yeah, I think we should walk down to the waterfront now. Okay, let's go for that. How cool is that? It's awesome, isn't it? It does. It looks like a film set. It make it just makes you smile. So far, this whole country has just made us smile, hasn't it? Has, it has, yeah. Everywhere we've been, it's, it's the contrast is so amazing. And we are back to the dock area, just making our way back to the hotel because we have to check out in about 20 minutes. And I have thoroughly enjoyed our little yeah. walk around the town there. Yeah, we've not seen many of the Nordic towns really because we've been riding through. This is the first time we've had a stop. Um, and I'm glad we've picked Trondheim because it's exactly what I wanted from a Nordic town or a Nordic city. It's perfect. It is. It has ticked every box for Literally. us, hasn't it? And it's so beautiful here. We're just passing the um, station as well now, which is where probably a lot of you will arrive if you don't come by motorcycle or car. Um, yeah. I think this train station actually links up directly with Oslo, so I'd recommend it. I would it. guess so, yeah. I didn't know Norway had so many good train links, um, no. so maybe that's something to explore in the future. That would make a nice winter train that travel, would wouldn't really it? That would be really cool, actually. Staying nice and warm in the train and just connecting to the different cities. But look at this dock area. The colours of these little buildings. Perfect. It really is. I can't wait to see what the rest of Norway has to offer us. Absolutely. Well, we're only on like day five or six of this <laughs> trip as well. I feel like we've, we've been on the road for weeks. We've seen so much. We really have. But it's time to suit up and head on the road. Yep. It's time to get back on the bike and explore some more of Norway as we head, well, into actually, Sweden. we're heading to Sweden this afternoon, which that's going to be good as well. Lots of forests, hopefully lots more nature. And I hope this blue sky stays for the rest of the days. <laughs> so do we, <laughs> uh, definitely. And I think we're going to be back in Norway in just a couple of days, a little bit further north. Yes, exactly. As we pick up the Coast Road, which is supposedly one of the most beautiful rides in Norway. <laughs> 